Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope.
I'm gonna rant a little bit. You see that balcony up there? Look how high up this balcony is. Look at that, it's way up there. Now I can nitpick this thing to death. I can show you 20 defects right now. You wanna go over this? Here, let me show you. Then I'm gonna show you the scary part. Right here we've got ground to wood contact. Ground to wood contact. Over here. We've got treads that are cracked, weathered, in poor condition. This one right here is Flexi Flyer. You step in the middle of that one and the whole thing flexes. And then, let's not mention, no balusters on the balustrade. Come over here, no graspable handrail. Okay, that's not the part that makes me scared. Check this out. Come over here, look at these steps. This whole thing. Look at this. It's just been nailed on with two little nails right there, but it gets worse. This is the part that really gets to me. We've got this ledger board here. We've got a nail. There might be a second nail underneath that plank right there. But you come over here, we have absolutely other than a couple of galvanized nails, there is no ledger attachment, but it gets even worse. They didn't even bother to put nails in the joist hangers. There's one, one stinking nail. I mean, you can't even make this up, but it gets worse. Check this out. Oh yeah. Apparently, they can't even be bothered to put the one nail in the freaking joist hanger. Let, rem let me remind you. That is probably a good 16 feet in the air, maybe. Uh, there's like three nails holding those joist hangers on. There's maybe three or four galvanized nails holding the ledger board on. Somebody's going to go up there and they're going to throw a party. They're going to invite 20 friends over. They're going to put a hot tub up there. They're going to line dance. I don't know, they're going to mud wrestle, they're going to do something up there, and that's going to come crashing down, and then everybody's going to go, woo, wow, I wonder why nobody ever, like, inspected the deck or, you know, warned anybody about it. I see this stuff every day of my life. My buddy Yuri over at Inspection Therapy is always bragging about all the good decks he gets. These are the death balconies that I get every day of my life, and I feel, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like there needs to be, like, some sort of movement, some door-to-door -door campaign. I don't know, but I see that crap every day of my life and somebody's going to die right there. Ed and uh, talk about the siding. Ooh, that's good. You come over here, somebody did some masterful asbestos. I mean, this is literally asbestos siding. This is what they did. They put that on there as if water isn't going to go in here or in there. or in here, or up in there. That's a big bunch of nope. 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 Gee, honey, I wonder why there are squirrels running through the eaves of our home. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out why there's water intrusion in our basement. I think this one's my favorite. That gutter is aiming the wrong direction. It's sloping that direction to that end. And if you look real close, you can see where the water's been spilling over that end. And it's been doing it for a long time. That is not new corrosion that you see there. And nobody stopped to say, this downspout is sloping the wrong direction. That's not supposed to do that. That's not a good place to dump water. This gutter has a low spot right here where water is going to accumulate. I wish I had a button in my reporting software that just said, I recommend full evaluation, everything. I'm grumpy today. This is the kind of crap I hate the most. I'm in here to this kitchen. Looks nice. Everything's nice. 
nice and shiny and clean. Except what they don't tell you is that they literally painted the countertops. It's like you see paint runs. Look at this. Look at that. You come over to this side. Nice, nice countertop here until you see all the moisture damage that they just painted right over in an attempt to conceal it or mask it because from here it looks just fine. Now I know this is my job, like I'm here to find this stuff, but there comes a point, we're coming to the end of this year, this has been a long year of bad flips, and there's a part of me that is like kind of fed up with it, just like this feels like fraud to me. This isn't good workmanship, this isn't somebody, this is literally stuff that is painted or coated to conceal and hide defects. So that somebody walks in and says, Woo, look at this beautiful kitchen. Let's buy the place, honey. And it, I'm telling you, it starts to get me really mad. So thanks for listening to me vent here. Uh, sorry that I'm grumpy today. Here's an ode to my buddy, Do South Brad. Hey, I really hate flips. Don't buy this house. This is an old house. It's one thing to have an ungrounded non-GFCI receptacle next to the sink. Like, literally, right next to it. But for God's sake, can we not have reverse polarity? <laughs> There's deflection in this kitchen floor. If I bounce up and down here a little just softly, the whole refrigerator. Thing you don't see every day. Stairs. First I thought that was a crack in the tread until I noticed hinges. Let's go in. Put your weed in there. Here in this closet we have an open receptacle where there would have been a light switch. There is a closet light. It is always on. There's no way to turn that off. And it's exposed. That is a safety hazard. Come here. I want to tell you a secret. That's a big bunch of nope. Freaking losing it. Nah, bitch, I'm cool. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. 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 It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, oh. Are we here? 
Nope. Do you love her? Yes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to stay with her? No. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> nah, bitch, I'm cool. for the guided tour cameras. The big anaconda makes a spectacular sight, swimming through the crystal clear Silver Springs waters. Ross is right behind the reptile, though. He begins to work his way up to the snake's head while Tom stands by. Now the action really begins as Ross and the enormous constrictor fight it out on the floor of the springs. These are some of the most unusual and exciting films ever made of Ross Allen in one of the most thrilling episodes of his adventurous life. While the anaconda is a non-poisonous snake, it effectively disposes of its prey with a constrictive tightening of its massive coils. In this struggle, the anaconda frequently succeeds in getting one or more coils around Ross Allen. 
the average 15-year-old high school student would much rather tackle his algebra and Latin texts than a 120-ton anaconda, but not Tom Allen. He was raised by his famous father to have plenty of respect, but no fear at all for the wild animals and reptiles that are the family business. When it comes time for Tom to take a hand with the big constrictor, he pitches in with a will and shows that he's learned his lessons well. When it begins to look as though things may be getting out of hand, with the anaconda securing two coils around Tom's legs, Ross swims into the rescue. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Okay, can I ask everyone to please stop saying oh no in this courtroom? Because the Kool-Aid guy's gonna keep showing up. Thank you.